welcome. Behold and see and stare at my actual normal hair. Yep, that's how I look. Those are my normal hair without me tying them up. It looks okay today. It's not that bad. Speaking of things being bad though, it's almost midnight. I can't sleep. I need to wake up in like four or five hours to get to work. And yeah, insomnia is a bitch. Just as much as dolphins. I know this is a nice dolphin picture, but if you know something about dolphins, oh boy, they perfectly fit to know or get the boat. So let me just open this up, open this up. Ah, oh, that doesn't make sense if I do it like that. Yeah, I'm gonna dive into Noah, get the boat. It's one of those nights where I kinda just hate everything. I feel like I just wanna burn down the whole world. I'm one radioactive accident away from becoming a super villain. And oh boy, Homelander would be nothing compared to me. I need to watch the boys, that would probably get me into a different mood. Ah, let's just go through down here, sensor everything. Security guard, mm, Swedish when officer in Islam, Islam, Mamba, 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 Mamba. Christian preacher says, oh, gay people should be lined up against the wall and shot in the back of the head. Oh boy. Ah, oh, let's go through the comments real quick. Hey, I'm sorry for this guy. This is why Christians get so much hate nowadays because of bad people like this. Yeah, we all go to hell. Don't worry about it. There should be different subgroups of hell nowadays. All the different people who belong in there. One hell of all of us won't cut it, and but pretty much nobody will go to heaven anyways. What? <laughs> Becoming disabled by choice, not chance. Transabled people feel like imposters in their fully working hoodies, bodies, bodies, bodies. Oh boy, this is a long one. When he cut off his right arm with a very sharp power tool, a man who now calls himself One Hand Jason let everyone believe it was an accident. Okay, so she, she, he, he made himself disabled by choice, so... Uh, imposter jokes, okay. They have imposter jokes, I can see them coming from a mile away. And I definitely want none. Ah, among us. God damn it, I'm glad I didn't start YouTube to that time. Not the game I want to play. No videos. No videos. No. No. What? No. No, no videos, please. Why are there so many videos? Oh. No. No, come on, give me something decent to look at. Oh, um, um, no, no, no. <laughs> oh god, do I need to prepare something? Yeah, this is, damn, this is. What? Bango Monitor Lizard allegedly gang ray in Mahashtra Forest. <coughs> So a lizard got by humans or oh, what? Four persons were arrested for allegedly uh, a banger monitor lizard in. <laughs> if I would be Thanos, I wouldn't just swipe out, snap out 50% of the population. No, I feel like at least 90% needs to go. And I would choose them. I would not random luck beside them. I would choose them carefully. 
and I wouldn't be surprised if only 1% survives actually. I mean I have my own moral compass, I'm sure it's not the best one. Yeah, but there are too many of us. There are too many of us and I got no trust. How long will this? Nope, I already effed up but I'll know I get the borderline. Ah, <laughs> oh, consistency is my biggest issue. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. Delhi woman ties tore down roof in scorching heat for not doing homework. There's a video. A mother punished her eight-year-old daughter by tying hands and legs on the roof of the house under the beating sun for not completing her homework. After the video of the incident went viral, Delhi police said it has initiated action in the matter. Yeah, that will surely teach her a valuable lesson. Mother of the year here. God, I hate Reddit. Every fucking clown here just wants to be funny. And every goddamn comment is just one guy trying to be funnier than the next. <sighs> I should just read it up. Trashy people or trashy comments. Cursed comments right next to it. Nope. I don't want to post something. Cursed. I don't know how to write cursed. That's the first problem. Cursed comments. There we go, just in case. Oh. Yeah, right here. People are way too comfortable on the internet. Time for flood. You tell me you don't play with little boys. Like, seriously, Reddit is a good example. I mean, every site is a good example. Let's just ignore that. A group of guys knocked out a homeless woman for fun in Atlantic City. They deleted the post so I found it. I don't want to watch the video. I'm probably sure it's just a prank, bro. Uh, exclusive. exclusive. Go 14 with severe nut allergy nearly died aboard BA flight after passenger refused to stop eating peanuts despite twice being told by cabin crew he was putting the danger nature's life at risk. Oh boy, funny people are true. Do airborne allergies not have to report it beforehand? Yes, of course, that passenger has an allergy. It's also mentioned to everyone on board and they asked not to open any nut-contained foods that they have brought onto the plane in hand luggage. Brr. Presumably this asshole just ignored all that. <sighs> oh boy. Where are the funny people? No. Okay, actually, people were not funny. Just... People who want the sauce. <sighs> Fourth grade Uvalde Savara testifies that she covered herself in other students in another student's blood to survive shooter. Fourth grade. How old is that? Please. Okay, people bet that this never happened. Twelve years old. So, I shouldn't comment on that. I have enough weird shoe scooting stuff already going on. So I guess uh, it's a survival tactic. Bear Grylls would be proud. They're a joke. Haha. <laughs> I should comment it right now to be funny. 70 year old gets robbed at, set at gunpoint in Brooklyn. New York for his sneakers all in front of 50 people standing around and I'm sure all of them were filming at the same time. <sighs> Golden Nectar Army. Oh, this is the P. Yeah, it's a P joke. Yep, yeah, P gummy bears made from scratch. I'll be uploading a video to my OnlyFans about how I make them. Hear me if you want some. Piss play, piss food. Oh god. Yeah. Yeah. 
entrepreneur. Is it illegal to ship that? Really, we just need to bring shame back into life. Yeah, what happened to shaming people and what happened to people being ashamed of themselves? Oh. This food is something I never thought I would see. It's also something I never wanted to see. Let's Google Amazon. Amazon. Rauf. Book cooking with burn. Where is it? Oh, there are so many of them apparently. Oh. God damn you. God damn you. For culinary connoisseurs for whole new taste experience. Kindlers, Gabe. It's Panda. German mixed, I guess. Sorry for that. Let's go with that one. Natural Harvest, a collection of semen based recipes. Yeah. Where? Ah, here we are. Just give me a minute. I need to drink something before I dive into that. Ugh. Guess this is gonna turn into a different direction we're gonna le we can read through amazon reviews of a lovely cooking book called natural harvest successful gag the first sadist book much more than a joke what we first saw this book much more than a joke instead of a serious cookbook it should begin the way to a cook who has just finished his training freshly of course you scroll through a little beforehand you can suppress curiosity. It sounds quite interesting and maybe you try a dish, but no more. As a gift, however, it was very good and the laughs were on our side. Unfortunately, not really many dishes are described in the book, which would justify the price. I would give everyone the trip to take a look at the book beforehand. Most of the dishes can be seen without buying the book. Cannot know what they miss out. A daily portion of once is so very much delightful and should never be missed. I was expecting more, as another buyer already wrote. The book is quite short and in my opinion offers hardly anything for the savvy hobby chef. Simple recipes with simple use of mmm as a gag it may still be fun, but people who enthusiastically cook with sperm oh, God damn it, I didn't censor that one also free to charge on the internet as well as the basic recipe without me, 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 me. Ah. the process of the, the processing of the book leaves a little to be desired for the price it could be a little higher quality and more stable but since it was brought bought primarily as a fun gift and provided some laughs and horrified faces it has fully fulfilled its purpose Worksmanship okay, fun yet guaranteed. Proceed, lovers. Hmm. Almost always cook with mm. Very good tips in the book. I use my mm, as described in the book as an ingredient or as a topping over eating. And I thought I'm weird for cooking with worms and uh, grasshoppers from time to time just to test it out. But here we are. Had a lot of fun making these recipes. Just need to be careful where I leave my food. Such an unusual book, the recipes are great, with or without a special ingredient. My roommate and his friend loved the truffles I left in the fridge, but I couldn't bring myself to tell them what they just had eaten. I should put a warning label on the next patch. <coughs> Natural Harvest. I came across this book on a podcast and thought it must be a joke. I decided to download one to my Kindle for a read. The book is a serious book about cooking with male bo bodily fluids. I personally do not fancy adding the ingredients to the enclosed recipes, but it is a good recipe boom for people that what 
that what to experiment with cooking and have the stamina to produce the special ingredients. Oh, 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 oh. What was I about to say? It makes it even harder for myself if they mess up their grammar. Brilliant book, my girlfriend loves all of the recipes, but it was a bit of hard work on my part. At times keeping them all happy. Oh, I must have, but I wish the book itself was better quality. Next page. The perfect secret Santa gift. Why? Why Santa? Ah, oh, I bought this as a secret. Santa gift for my brother's wife and it went down the tree. Don't forget to stick some of the pages together for extra... <laughs> Taking my dinner party game to the next level. As icky as it sounds. For many years as a vegan I've been searching for more versatile alternative proteins. <laughs> oh, thank god this book for, or perhaps it still be looking. What? Thank god for this book or perhaps I would still be looking. I get all the nutrition I need, and my husband has never been happier. Oh, just give me a minute. To be honest, I'm quite happy I took this trip away from Doak at the port <laughs> to this site. Oh, for Amazon reviews. Oh, this is way more fun. Actually quite enjoyable. Oh, that's a long one. Wait, it leaves you drier than a Moyama. Translate. Google it, Moyama. Ah. That's broken flesh, oder? Salz getrockneter Thunfisch. It's a salted tuna. Dried. Dried salted tuna. <sighs> I'm a bastard, myself. I did not buy this book with great seriousness, having offered it for the birthday of a friend that I wanted to surprise. He was surprised. From a pristine point of view like mine, one can find the description of dishes and associated photos quite hilariously, provided I have somewhat misplaced humor, I grant it, I strongly suspect the offer to self mockery by the way. However, God damn it. however, looking at the case of this particular kitchen, one realizes that the sperm in the diet is serious. To find this book at the best price, I went through several dedicated forums, and it seems that this food of choice, both in terms of taste and nutritionness, nutritious, this is confirmed by the book's post face, praising sperm dishes. Detailing its nutritional qualities, the best way to preserve it, how to produce a quality sample, etc. So on. I didn't waste, I didn't waste, I didn't taste a dish seasoned in this way, and I plan to be carefully that my friends will serve me what? And I plan to be careful that my friends will serve me next time. But for those who are really tempted by the experience, it seems that. Cooking with her in the United States as fashion as the consumption of human placentas. Let's not Google that. If look for you will see. Well, this book is very well presented. It clarifies all the points that may seem be no score to you about this food and blah, 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 blah. Okay, great gag gift. The bright and the price. The pictures are hilarious. Completely tame but totally suggestible. Hmm. How many sites are there, seriously? 114. Yummy, yeah, used this way too much. As an essential purchase. It was missing my collection of cook... It was missing my collection of cookbooks and for the dinners this was this could be missed. No, god damn it. You're confusing me. People without humor jump on another book. Okay. Very disappointed. 
we have a lot of fun carrying our gas by leaving it by leaving it beside our cooking area. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Five, five stars. Eat this. Bit. Five stars. Absolute brilliant. Blah blah blah. Very funny. Blah blah blah. I love it as a prank, truly a gag gift. Ha 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 ha. Okay, 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 okay. Let's just dive a little bit further. Oh, more mass shootings. Of course. Ah, uh, I don't want to read it. Oh, that's the last one. That's the last one. More to read. Give me a second here. I'll read that before. On our confessions, oh, originally posted. I hope it's a joke. I hope it's a joke for sure. I sneak sips of my co-worker's breast milk from la. I sneak sips from my co-worker's breast milk from the lunch room fridge. That's a tongue breaker for me. From semen food to breast milk. Lovely transition. Take that segue. She just had a baby a couple months ago. And would bump on her bra on her brakes at work in the bathroom and put her milk in the refrigerator at work in the lunch room. I take my lunch later than everyone else just to be alone in there and take a sip or two of her sweet. Yeah. Thankfully, there are no cameras and I've never been caught. I had a breast lactation kink as long as I can remember, and I know this is wrong and probably illegal, but it yeah it turns him on so much. I also know that if I get caught, I will lose everything. I never intended to do this, but I had to take lunch late one day. I opened the fridge and there it was. Just seeing it in the bottles made me... Uh, I already thought she was uh, super hot, but, uh, but pregnancy made her so much goddamn it. Her breast hips and uh, got thicker. I had to taste the milk, I couldn't stop myself. I quickly looked around and no one was in the lunchroom or coming down the long hall. I opened the bottle and took just the taste and it was good. I looked around immediately and ran to the bathroom. No, 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 nope. no, no, I don't know what to sense of that. Can't have nothing in the office kitchen. Ah. <sighs> Homelander. Ah, oh, that's weird. Two Homelander references in one episode. When do the boys release the next season? Isn't it already released? The boys season free release date. Friday, June 10th. Ha! Huh, really? Ha! Huh. God, I need to pump this episode. <laughs> Careful, Patrick, with your choosing of words. I need to pump this ex exercise, this episode out as soon as possible. You're also containing... Taking, stealing, canning for... I can't read anymore. I'm going to stop right here after that sentence. Taking, stealing, candy from a baby to a whole new level. Ha, ha, ha. We are back on Reddit. Homelander, Activision Blizzard, what? Oh, Blizzard employee, really? Is that a story there? I don't want to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enjoy your nice dolphins. Better sense of the dolphins too. <laughs> oh. Who would have thought that the seeming cooking book would... It's wind howling. That's who I got. Censored and interrupted. Who would have thought that the semen cooking book would be the most fun in this episode? Well, she's hot. Or piss hot. 